Here we're going to take a look at a few more subtraction problems. Um, um, they're given to us in words this time. So the first one says, what is 7 and 5 eighths subtracted from 8 and 1 seventh? So remember, when you are subtracting from something, the thing you're subtracting from needs to be there first. So this is one of those where we have to flip-flop the order. So this is 8 and 1 seventh minus 7 and 5 eighths. Now we can use the trick here that 7 and 8 have nothing in common, no common factors. So in that case, you find the LCD by just multiplying 7 and 8. So the LCD is 56. So I know that I want 8 and something over 56 minus 7 and something over 56. And we understand that because we made 56 by multiplying 7 and 8, we multiply the top and bottom of 1 7th by 8 and the top and bottom of 5 8 by 7. And so what we end up with here is 8 and 8 56 minus 7 and 35 56. Now here's that issue again of uh, the, the first number is bigger than the second number, so we should be able to subtract normally, but the first fraction part is smaller than the second fraction part. Um, now really we do not want to mess with trying to um, do regular subtraction with the whole numbers and then have the fraction end up being negative and somehow trying to make sense of that. That's a can of worms we don't want to open. So we just simply want to make this fraction part bigger. And so remember that the strategy is we're going to turn the 8 into a 7, the whole part into a 7, because we're borrowing 1 from the whole number. And remember that that one whole is equal to 56 over 56. Those are the same. And so we're just adding the denominator, which is 56, to the numerator, which is 8, and we end up with 64 56. And we'll subtract off 35 56. So of course 7 minus 7 is 0. 64 minus 35 we end up getting 29. Now please do not leave your answer written the way I have it right now. Okay, you never write 0 in 29 56. Right? The answer is 2956. We, of course, drop off that whole part business if it ends up being zero. All right, so again, you see that subtracted from. That's an indication that you need to kind of flip-flop the order. Put the second one first, the first one second. The next one says, what is the difference of two-fifths and negative three-fifths? Remember, this is where you keep the order they write it in. So we're simply going to say, two-fifths minus, and then this is negative three-fifths. So we better put parentheses here. This is a nice little relief. We don't have any common denominators to worry about. So we already have common denominators, but what we do need to worry about is the fact that we're subtracting a negative. And understand when we do that, we're going to be adding the opposite. And so we have two-fifths plus three-fifths is five fifths, and we'd of course never leave it this way. 5 over itself is just 1.